If whiskey and history gang together, go together, then Scotland's the land where this bond's distilled. From winding river, from soft weather, and from golden barley field. A long, long while from Isky Bar, to show me the way to the next whiskey bar. A far cry right enough, from the earliest rough stuff. Strong drink, scotch drink. That monks made that fired the blood and sharpened many a warlike blade. But by the year 1700, surrounding new built Easter Elkies now, were the peaceable lands of the farmer and the plough. The labour was hard, but the soil was good. They grew more and better barley than they needed for food. So they sang the devil's a war with the excise man as local moonshine whiskey filled the can. And though still made of simple barley yeast and water, today I'm John Barleycon's sophisticated daughter. Born to a magical, alchemical secret that's of this land, but no for the telling. The great pride of Speyside is me, the McCallum. Four hundred and seventy-five years ago, Scotland was a land of unrest. It was at this time our story of Easter Elkies begins, and the birth of the finest single malt whisky in the world, known to history and to legend as the Macallan. In 1543, the Bishop of Murray bestowed the lands of Easter Elkies to Duncan Grant for assisting in quelling the rebellion of the Earl of Huntley. He was the forefather of the Grants of Easter Elkies. In 1700, Captain John Grant, a descendant of Duncan, builds Easter Elkies House. His son, Patrick Grant, studied law, and in 1732 became a judge and is given the title Lord Elkies. Just under 30 years later, his son, John, sells Easter Elkies' estate to the fifth Earl of Findlater, who in 1789 commissions eminent landscape designer Thomas White to draw up plans for improvements to the estate. The real story of the Macallan begins here. In 1824, over a hundred years after the house was built, Alexander Reed, local farmer and school teacher, leases eight acres from the Earl of Seafield and obtains a license to start a distillery. Scottish farmers had already been making whisky in the area for centuries with their surplus barley. The land at Easter Elkies was the ideal place and the ground fertile. Water could be pumped on the grounds and the Spey, one of the most famous salmon rivers in the world, bordered the estate. Reed was ready to make his mark in the world of whisky with an indomitable spirit and a magnificent terroir to start his venture with. In 1847, management was taken over by James Davidson and James Shearer Priest. Davidson gets the credit for the development of the Macallan as a quality single malt Scotch whisky. A corn merchant by trade, he was the one who insisted on buying only high-grade barley when distilling whisky. In 
1868, James Stewart bought the lease, rebuilt the distillery, and in 1892, sold the Macallan to one of the giants of Victorian distilling, Roderick Kemp. Kemp is considered to be the architect of the Macallan's success. During his time, he built the Macallan into a robust, modern facility with additional warehouses and improved stills. The most important thing he did, however, was to start the Turing whiskey in unbroken Spanish oak sherry casks. Kemp's descendants, in particular the Sheik family, retained ownership of the Macallan until 1996. As subsequent owners spearheaded changes and the company exchanged hands, the Macallan grew from a local favourite dram into the best-selling single malt by value in the world. If freedom and whiskey gang together, go together. How do you like your freedom? Swallowed neat? And if friendship and whiskey gang together, go together. Am I the aqua vita you imbibe with one another? Maybe a nip, a sip? Or Macallan to Hansel and Hanfast a partnership? A deal sealed with just your word? A handshake and a dram? What a firm and lasting promise I am. There's I a thirst for true companionship. Until at last the loving cup or the quake is passed. Shear me with a chinked glass. Cheers. Savour me. Savour friendship. Its flavour will mature for years. In the 1950s, sales begin to rise. In early 1960, the Macallan acquired the principal ownership of Easter Elkie's house, their spiritual home. Shares are listed on the London Stock Exchange. In 1980, the Macallan's famous ad campaign appears to build the brand further. From the late 1990s, the Macallan begins its exponential rise to becoming a global success. 2004 saw the introduction of the Fine Oak series with innovative new packaging. And in 2008, the much acclaimed Masters of Photography series was launched. In 2010, the Macallan 64-year-old in Lalique Sierra Perdue sold for $460,000 at Sotheby's New York. Then a world record. Then in 2014, M Imperial supersedes the Sierra Perdue with a world record price of $628,000. And in 2016, a set of 19 Macallan fine and rare bottles became the most expensive spirits purchase in travel retail racking up a checkout total of $361,000. In 2017, yet another world record. The Macallan in the Leak Legacy Collection sells for $993,000. And now, in 2018, we are very proud to unveil our new look for the Macallan range.